when they have their jump. I'm going to make sure that that is off limits. And Falcon is a character with just one resource, able to burn that and turn it into a set win. But now you've got a whole lot more resources to burn if you're going to come up against uh, Zamba and his Rob here in Grand Finals of Xeno number 288. Zamba's here saying, come, face a real top tier character. This is like, you know, beating Shang Tsung and then Shao Kahn's in the back. It is exactly like that. Oh, no. And now it's looking like when Kung Lao got, got his neck snapped. Yeah, it's, uh, Kung Lao was my main in KH9. I was so sad. Oh, no. <laughs> he was so cool. He's got a funny hat. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is just Zamba. Doing, doing what Zamba Just does. Doing Zamba things. Like Zamba's one of the best like players at getting into your zone and at zone breaking here in New York, which is full of in Tri-State in general, which is just full of a ton of like patient, patient players. Because he's able to like get one hit and then kind of have a sense of just generally what you're trying to do here. Oh, and spacing perfectly on the eighth. A little bit of a smirk. Yeah, I mean, Zamba finally showing some emotion. Like this right here. Like uh, I'm gonna play this in half speed. The laser to catch the air dodge. The gyro to cover. And it's just like it's preemptive. Like this, this gyro toss is so simple. It is so simple and it's so easy. But it's just so good at like, oh, this covers jump, gyro covers drift, and then I play to react in this general zone. Like, it's all coverage, mm -hmm. and it's all just, like, awareness of when my opponent gets hit, they have only so much they can do, especially a character like Ike, who has quick draw, double jump, air dodge. Yeah. Literally three things you have to take, keep out for and play the rock, paper, scissors game. Yeah, if you want to talk about a character who has resources that can be drained off stage, Ike is one of them. Yeah, that's... You, you can certainly get abused, to say the least, but... Zamba, after a strong start, Mega has the opportunity to play into to play into this Robin to start winding down and figuring out what exactly went wrong. He's got a lot of experience and he's gonna try and utilize it as much as possible, but Zamba may not give him the chance. And you saw Zamba reacting to the jump. That was counterplay to the counterplay because Mega did the grab gyro from jump as or from the ledge jump as well. So that just the layers of counterplay coming out from Zamba. It's already looking significantly better than it had been in the previous game. And if you're able to get Zamba into a couple habits, like in this range, you're going to dash attack, able to punish right there. Uh, trying to t anticipate when Zamba would like to go for a jump in there at which ranges. But, uh-oh. Oh, okay. That's the added benefit. Again, that... Upward, the Aether getting the sword up there. Sword starts spinning. The hitbox is there. Adds a little bit of extra protection. Just, just a touch. Yep, just enough to knock the gyro away that time and keep Mega alive on this second stock. That could have been just such a nail in the coffin. And instead, we've got ourselves a, a pretty even game. Ooh, great parry on the B reverse movement from Zamba. Mega still keeping things alive. Right, I forgot that Zamba hates the drop down throw. PB, PB one of those guys that's like, oh, my opponent can counterplay this. I'd rather set up for a better overall positional situation. So he assumes every player will have the mash, correct? Yes. That's just, it's just how he operates. Gotta at least check. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. sometimes you just gotta hit him with the skill check. There he goes. Oh, oh, he knows. He's got the mash. Mega knows. He watched the video. He watched the video. He knows. Oh, oh the big scoop on the Aether. Game's gonna cheer through. for Ike. He's starting, how did he know? Starting to really like Ike. chip away. Be like Ike. Oh, the reverse Ooh. up air. He, he's starting to pull into that bag of tricks. And there's the, the different spacings, the different timings. All of that is so relevant when you've got a straightforward game plan, but a very big sword. The Rob is equally as sizable. He's got to get right through with that neutral air and bring us to a last stock game here in this game number two. And that's right back in the even. Going to see if Zamba looking for these Z-drop gyro conversions. Looking to see if he can close out the bracket for the night. 
opting for the up throw conversions off of the platform and just racking up all of this damage. Gyro once again disrupting, making sure that Mega is not able to find his footing. Gotta keep the Ike away from any sort of means of starter. The jab is gonna do it. He rolled in there and Mega is ready for the catch. Looking to try and uh, get this Rob into so much damage. Double Nair okay. into up air. Looking a lot better here for us. Looking like we're starting to cook a little bit. The up toss of the gyro. Mega's still very much alive here in this game, too. Another neutral air conversion. He knows how to pick up. Never mind. Oh, he no! in. Oh, what Mega had punished him for just that little bit earlier. Zamba gave it up. All right, so let me see that last talk again because that was uh, tragic. Like, look, that roll in. He gave it up. And you know what happened? Let's go. Gyro. Oh, he he knows how to pick up Gyro. I'm so proud of him. Gyro pick up W. But then he rolled it again. Okay, like, zoom out here. <laughs> Sorry. Like, So this roll in was conditioned, punish, able to get it. But the reason I feel like the spacing here becomes so relevant is because Mega wasn't anticipating Mega was like anticipating the roll to happen again because Zamba had landed which meant that the, one of two things was kind of come out either drop like jump out of shield gyro or roll in the nair was nair was off the table because the shield was already up but he just I think he just slightly misspaced it because he was looking for a forward tilt to set up off stage rather than looking for a a, a Nair punish, which he had gotten a little bit earlier. And that's just so unfortunate when you expertly just, when you are so ready, so feeling in that flow that you get the read and you just misspace it. Absolutely. Having, you know, at that point, you know, Mega had kind of won the mental battle, but just lost the execution, unfortunately. Yeah, that game two was so good from on the part of Mega, but it just turned into a like both of them taking their turns to do so much damage, like ninety-five to zero into like a hundred to zero in reverse, like just so so good at like taking the hits and being being able to dish it back, but just unable to close out the final stock as Zamba takes Zeno number two eighty-eight from winner side. Without dropping a game, did Zamba drop a game? Hey, look, picked up the gyro again. Good job, Mega. I'm so proud of Mega. Uh, Zamba did not thing. drop a game in bracket. Uh, I think he dropped a game in pools when he was playing um, when he was playing Lucina. But once he started playing Rob, he didn't. Yeah. Might not have dropped a game, which makes sense. That checks out. As we get to watch it again, the yet another up smash, and uh, yeah, I mean. What's there more to say except Xeno Weeklies, everybody? Bop. There we are. Happening every single Wednesday right here at Xeno. The venue at 21 Ludwig Street in Chinatown, New York, of which you can register for every single week. Going to start.gg slash Xeno. You can see the bracket right now for this Xeno, as well as register for the next Xeno next week, of which all of the action is streamed at twitch.tv slash house of 3000. And all of the updates and sets you can find on the Twitter at House of 3000, where each stream match is posted. And then in the replies, once it's on the YouTube, the link to the YouTube VOD is right there. So easy, so seamless, and just so nice. That's just a good user experience right there. That's you just know? like so efficient. Like it, it's right there. Everything flows into itself. Super clean stuff. As uh, any, any final thoughts for us? I'm hungry. True. <laughs> you, know? you got me. <laughs> True. Yeah. Hey, we're All in right. Chinatown. We got those Zeno dumplings. Oh my God, there's so much, so many good dumpling spots around. Very nice. Uh, but I guess that's going to be signing it off from here. Uh, I've been Ubel and I'm Force Armor. You can follow us at Force Armor or Ubel Soul on Twitter. And of course, make sure you are following House of Three Thousand on Twitter as well. And now that you can finally do that once again. Yeah, on Twitter and on the Twitch, of which you can also subscribe. Uh, with any of those Amazon Primes and for other free. utilities for free. You also, I was here too. Yeah, shout John out was here. Let's go, John Numbers. Oh. No, shout out, shout out to John and Dale for holding it down tonight. Ugh. Understaffed, but no less of an amazing user experience. And we hope everybody has a great night leading into the 11 o'clock hour. I yes. am in so much pain. <laughs> and you're clear.
fuck? Ugh. 